Today, you are being tested on precision. Jarrell, why did the jury of peers vote Hiram to the bottom? The jury voted Hiram to the bottom because we felt like he went too intense with all the wrinkles in the face, and it's very tonal. I got scared that I'm not going to be able to frame it. I can find 10,000 excuses, but as bad as my tattoo is, France is worse. That nose is not the same as the person. The mouth has three lips. I don't agree. I didn't add shit or move the actual shape of the damn face. When I turned it to black and gray and then bumped the contrast, I overcorrected, and then I tattooed what I saw, and that's where you get the extra things. Less would have been way more. But out of those three tattoos, Frank's is obviously applied better. But I have a tattoo of a past loved one, and if it didn't look like that person, I'd be bummed out about it. But I mean, compared to the other two, none of those look like the people either. Judges, it is time to determine who's going home. I mean, for me, I'm looking for which photo looks like the tattoo the most. The bottom half of Frank's tattoo is a different person. The brow, the nose, and this sharp angle on the lip, there are three major differences dead smack in the center of the face. My vote is for Frank. The judges have decided, Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. With the portraits that I did, I love my tattoo, but it didn't hold up. I think I did a really good job. My tattoo is better applied. My tattoo had better contrast, and I had a, a lot of really good application. But as far as precision goes, there were a few things that were off because the reference that I used didn't end up being completely the reference, like the color reference. Your values got a little bit further away from me than they needed to be. The darkness of that V between her eyes, it's turning her expression to a meaner expression. There were enough inconsistencies in mine that I don't disagree with it. Let's bring up the second ranked tattoo. <laughs> From the Midwest, Frank. I'm glad to see you sitting in second spot. I'm stoked on it, man. This isn't my first time not making it to the end. This time, you know, I tried even harder, but obviously I wanted to go to the end. I wanted to win this thing. I had a good run. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day goes to the Midwest. Good job. All right. Yes. Congratulations. Excellent. I didn't consider having a team coming into this. I was coming into this competition to make my own way and fight for it. And I feel like leading the Midwest has been about as important as wanting to be the Ink Master. You know, and I feel like I got them there, so the rest is up to them. It's been an excellent experience. I'm just so stoked to have gone as far as I have. I commend you for the way you conduct yourself and your tattooing, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you very much. I definitely have way more to offer. Like, I still feel like I could have taken this thing, but, you know, I'll have to come back and do that next time. Hiram and Bob, one of you will also be packing your machines today. Holy shit. All right, judges, who is the second artist going home today? You have the dots everywhere on Bob's. Right, but I'm leaning towards Bob as hitting it better, just on lightness alone. The skin wasn't giving me the values that I was expecting to get. I was putting my light tones, and they were turning medium gray right away. So I was scared to put my dark tones at the very end, just waiting for the skin to settle. Just letting it fall back and giving those little inferences, that's the move. Less is more. It's just unfinished, too. Final decision. My vote's for Hiram. The judges have decided, Hiram, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I feel bad, you know, I, I missed my chance to shine. It was my moment, I was waiting for it since the very beginning of this competition. I knew I was, it was my time to put a, you know, a hit on the table and make, and make my name, you know. I do portraits all the time and I left myself down. I'm positive that I'm going to the bottom. The only thing that is really getting at me is I'm gonna be in the bottom for the first time when I was supposed to fucking kill it. That's the irony of life. I was performing really good in this competition because I was always in a position of pressure and, and being the underdog against challenge that I wasn't comfortable with. And I was always pushing myself to, you know, do the, do the hard work and do the, do the homework and do, you know, tattoos all the time that I will appreciate and I would like. Damn! You had me sweating on the clock, Hiram, but you guys <laughs> fucking pulled it out, dude. <laughs> I know that when I make it to the bottom, it's going to be my last time. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you very much, guys. I feel down right now, I'm not going to lie, but I feel that it would take way more than, than this situation to, to break me. And I'm still going to go forward, and I'm still going to learn every day because I'm still at the very beginning of what I know I'm capable of.